here is the answer, my answer of the moment to a wonderful question uh, in response to the training, the embodied leadership training, embodied trauma leadership training. And the question is, I'd love to know anything that could help us stay regulated and not become angry or annoyed with clients when they're pushing our buttons, such as telling us that we're wrong or asking us to prove ourselves, especially between clients when we're not able to talk with them easily as we can during a session. And if they don't want to have a 20 minute call with us to talk it out. Okay. So first we take a breath we have a pause, maybe hand to heart, hand to belly, because often what happens is if we feel questioned or uh, like we need to show up and prove ourselves, we have a lot happening inside and we need to be able to tend to ourselves first because we're human. <laughs> we are human and we need to be able to respond from our professional selves but that doesn't mean we're not having feelings. So we need to make space to honor and tend to our feelings, whether it's in a breath, whether it's telling that feeling, I see you, I hear you, I feel you, I will tend to you as soon as the session is over. Um, it's not our job to prove ourselves to our clients <laughs> or our work. And most often what is happening is if we're feeling questioned like this, um, we're being tested in a really healthy way. It can be so easy to feel annoyed or like this client is being quote unquote difficult. But I often see these things as what I'd call attachment cries as young parts of our clients pushing on us to see, can they trust us? Can they trust us to stay steady if they're ruffling our feathers or if they're having questions? and maybe not able to ask in a way that feels grounded because there's a lot of charge behind it <laughs> and they don't wanna to have to seem um, perfect. They just should be able to get messy with us. So we take care of our own regulation first and we can respond not by giving them the answer right away if we don't want to, we sure don't have to. More often than not, we can respond with curiosity. What's, what's underneath that? What are you really wanting to know from me right now? Is there something about me answering this question that would feel meaningful to you? So first investigating more deeply, because usually when we're being asked to prove ourselves, um, then there's something else going on. It's usually about the client wanting to feel more safe, more held, and like there's space for them to have all these parts come up. And so they don't need us to go into our egos and blah, blah, blah about why this is effective and the science and the results and other people and this is my training. And no, we're, we want to actually make more space for them in these moments. This usually isn't about us. So I want to really encourage us all to have the stability and compassion and regulation to get curious with them in a kind way, not a manipulative way, not to deflect from us having to answer. We can, we sure can, if they really want to know the answer. But first, let's take time to see and hear and feel into what is this really about? And we can just so gently ask them, what would it mean to you if I answered this? Um, and see what comes. And then use your skill and your intuition to go to the next step. More often than not, I don't ever actually have to answer anything. <laughs> they just want to feel seen in their fear that I might not meet their needs. If they're doing that in between session, I almost always would say, let's, if it feels like very distressing for them, it's in my work to say, let's hop on a 20 minute call. Here's when I have time. It doesn't have to be immediate. It could be in a few days, next week, um, to not go into distress with them, but sure. I am happy to hop on a call. I also say, let's process things in session so that I can be totally present with you. So that's how you can handle that there. <laughs> 